Noble. My name is Bishop Isaac Philip Taku. My name is Bishop Isaac Philip Taku, the Khan Vice Chairman Tarava State. I want to invite all ministers of the gospel, church workers, denominational leaders, heads of churches, to the Taraba State Global Conference that we'll be holding at the Deeper Life Campground. This is a special program in Taraba State. Let me start by saying what a great privilege Taraba State has because our father was here in February. There was great impact that cut across the globe. And this time around, by the special grace of God, from Taraba State, is going to shake the world. You will never regret attending this program. Make time to come. From 17 to 22nd of November 2022, basically for the Church Workers Conference. Pastors Conference and Workers of the Faith is already in top year. And I'm sure, by the grace of God, we are going to record a resounding success. Your labor will not be in vain. And just immediately after God empowers our ministers in the life-changing, yoke-breaking, miracle-filled global crusade with Kumui GCK in Adamawa, Yola. It's our own time. And therefore, Pastor Dr. Kumui GCK Authority will be visiting Adamawa's tent and he'll be arriving here with the theme of the program as earlier said, power that never fails. You'll be here. From the 24th through the 29th, 
And also, the second aspect of the program will be a minister's conference. I urge you to be part of this great event. Mobilize your friends, mobilize members of your family, mobilize members of your churches and ministries to ensure that you are part of that great event. Don't be missing out because God is coming in a great and powerful way to heal, to deliver, to set free, to equip and help us to be better positioned in all our aspects of lives and endeavor. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the roots of David has prevailed. And it's confirmed that there's still one hope, one way, one solution, and one power that never fails. The power of Jesus Christ reverberates this November with GCK Live from Adamawa State, Nigeria. The land of beauty set to beautify your life through Christ. As the covenant of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Tumuyi will touch down in Adamawa, Nigeria with a power that never fails. Healing, deliverance, salvation. November 24 to 29, 2022. 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT for Sunday worship service. Young people from all levels will be empowered for excellence at the Impact Academy on November 26, 2022 at 0600 hours GMT. Ministers and professionals will be empowered for breakthrough in ministry on November 25, 26, 28, and 29 at 0600 hours GMT. Our guest gospel minister is Bob Feets. This is an avalanche of manifestation of the power that never fails for all life. Power will herald your celebration. Dr. William Kumui says, Be it confirmed in your life in Jesus' name. GCK, the gospel to every creature. First Corinthians chapter 1, and I'm reading from verse 17. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Think about that. God sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. As you think about that statement, isn't water baptism important? Of course, it's important. Do I have to do it compulsory? No, other people can do that. There are many things that may be all right, may be good. If it's going to detract you and distract you from the major sin, the preaching of the gospel, you have to weigh all those things and then you have to put everything in the balance and then you say number one sin to preach the gospel and then all the other things if they are necessary, if they are important, you will delegate them to other people. And you'll say, this is important, get this done. This is important, get this done. This is important, get this done. But the sin that contributes primarily to the mission statement, you commit yourself unto that. Acts chapter 26. And you want to understand the mission that Paul the apostle received and the mission that you too, that you have received. Verse 18. To open their eyes. To open their eyes. That's why you open their eyes. Number one, to see the meaning of scripture. Open their eyes. That's the mission statement. Number two, it is to open their eyes to the personality and the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the uniqueness of Christ. To the salvation of Christ. That's the priority. Number three, it is to open their eyes to the riches of Christ in glory. That they will know what they possess, what they have. Open their eyes. Number four, open their eyes to the responsibility of a believer. Not just that now, I'm saved, I'm saved. Open their eyes 
and open their eyes to their responsibility. Number five, open their eyes to the reality of heaven and the reality of hell. So that when their eyes are opened and they see there is an eternity and there is something waiting for them at the end of life, at the end of the road, then they'll be able to repent and they will live in righteousness and they will do that which is approved of the Lord. Open their eyes, open their eyes to the reward that they're going to have in eternity so that their lives will count now. Open their eyes. And if you're going to do that, you need to do that methodically. You need to study how to do that. And then you see a man that is totally blind to the reality of the Savior. You see a man that is totally blind to the salvation we have in Christ. And then you take the time to open, open, open the scriptures that they might have understanding in all these areas. If the preaching does not turn people, if it doesn't transform people, if it doesn't move them and shake them and turn them from facing this direction to facing this other direction, then we do not understand our mission statement. They must leave darkness and then come to the light. They must leave sin and come to righteousness. It must turn them to turn them from darkness to light and to turn them from the power of Satan unto God. And that is the clear perception of the mission that God has called us to. We are going to pray and commit ourselves and will to say, Lord, I've heard it again. I make myself available, Lord, I will. And through these mouths of me, oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. Who is like unto thee? Among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness. Doing wonders, hallelujah, who is like unto thee? Who is like unto thee? Among the gods, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, He is Lord. Every knee must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, He is Lord. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, He is Lord, He is the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, every knee, every tongue is Lord. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him till the sun goes down. 
to meet my Redeemer. I am running the race to meet my Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race to meet my Redeemer, my Redeemer. My Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race, to meet my Redeemer, my Redeemer, my Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race, to meet my Redeemer. Running a race to meet my Redeemer. I am running the race to meet my Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race to meet my Redeemer, my Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race. Keep me through, Lord Jesus, keep me through. Keep me through, Lord Jesus, keep me through. There's a race I must run. There's a vision. To be won, give me power every hour to be through. Lord, keep me through. Keep me through. Keep me through. Lord, keep me through. There's a victory to be won. Give me power every hour to be through. Please keep me through. Keep me through. Jesus, keep me through. that liveth in me it is no longer I that liveth but Christ that liveth in me in me in me Jesus is alive in me it is no longer I that liveth but Christ 
that liveth in me, in me. But Christ that liveth in me, it is no longer I that liveth. In me, in me, but Christ, there is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing in my life that belongs to this world of sin there is nothing 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 in my life that belongs to this world of sin in my life god gives me joy in my heart god gives me peace and the hope to see his face keeps me pure there is nothing 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 in my life that belongs to this world of sin that belongs to this world of sin there is nothing 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 in my life. In my life, God gives me joy. In my heart, God gives me peace. And the hope to see his face keeps me pure. There is nothing, nothing, nothing in my life that belongs to this world of sin of sin amen you are welcome to this monday bible studies in jesus name if today is the first time of joining us in this monday bible studies Either you are being invited or you are and 80 gospel hymns and song number 180. Since the Son has made me free, since the Son has made me free, let me taste my liberty. Be behold with open face triumph in the saving grace thy great we delight to prove glory in thy perfect love Abba Father hear the child let in Jesus reconcile here and all the graces showers all the joy and peace and power of my Savior ask above all the life and the heaven of love. Heavenly Adams, life divine, change my nation into thine. Move and spread throughout my soul. Actuate and free the old. Be it I no longer now. Living in the flesh, but thou. Holy Ghost, no more delay. Come, and in thy temple stay, not thine in what witness be strong and permanent and clear. Spring of life, thyself in part, rise in Tana in my heart. <laughs>
to continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we're asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We're asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. Genesis chapter 42. Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither, and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren, for he said, Lest peradventure mischief befall him. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. And Joseph was the governor over the land, and he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan, to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. We are all one man's sons, we are true men, thy servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said, Thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, That is it that I spake unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh, ye shall not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you. Or else by the life of Pharaoh surely ye are spies. And he put them all together into ward three days. And Joseph said unto them the third day, This do and live, for I fear God. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry corn for the famine of your houses, but bring your youngest brother unto me. So shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one to another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child, and ye would not hear? Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not that Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he turned himself about from them, and wept, and returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them Simeon, and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn, and to restore every man's money into his sack, and to give them provision for the way. And thus did he unto them. And they laded their asses with the corn, and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the inn, he espied his money, for behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that God hath done unto us? And they came unto Jacob their father unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell unto them, saying, The man who is the lord of the land spake roughly to us, and took us for spies of the country. And we said unto him, We are true men, we are no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me, and take food for the famine of your households, and be gone. 
and bring your youngest brother unto me. Then shall I know that ye are no spies, but that ye are true men. So will I deliver you your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. His father saying, Slay my two sons, if I bring him not to thee. Deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. And he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in the which ye go, then shall ye bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You have seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Close your eye, pray for yourself that the he please be called El, that he please be called Evan. The reason why you are here, the reason why I am here this evening is to make it to the kingdom of God, to make it to heaven. In hell, you may not know. This is a place whereby people are born in. Fire burn them. Call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not go to hell. Remember, either you are small or big. Either you are senior person or junior person. Either you are a father or a child. Either you are yellow or brown. Either you are dark or white. Whosoever you are, remember, one day you will close your eyes. What does close your eyes mean? You will die. I will die. Then the question is, where are you going to spend your eternity? After you have closed your eye and you die, where are you going? Are you going to a place whereby people are born in? Or are you going to where there is God? This is the question you need to ask yourself. This is what Pastor taught us on the book of Galatians today. Pray the lossful of this world. I want to do this. I want to do that. Because I don't have wife, because I don't have husband, because I don't have money, then little, little stinny. Because I don't have wife, because I don't have husband, adultery, fornication. Because nobody see me, I can do whatever I like. That is not the way to the kingdom of God. Call upon the name of the Lord that God will help you. God will help me. Call upon the name of the Lord that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not be cut off. Among those people who are going to heaven, your name will not be removed. My name will not be removed. Do not forget we have said to ourselves that one day we come and we close our eyes. The question is where are you going to spend your eternity? Call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ God will take you to heaven. You will not follow wrong crowd. Whereby 
Jesus Christ is not preached. They are just preaching about the grace. They are just preaching about the grace. Call upon the name of the Lord that God will help you. You may hear, like in the book of Matthew chapter 4, that Jesus Christ is here. Jesus Christ is there. Come there. Close your eye. Close your ear. Do not follow them. Because already you know where the truth of the Lord is being preached. Where there is the truth of the Lord. Be careful so that you will not be deceived. Call upon the name of the Lord. You will not follow false prophets, false servants of the Lord. They are greedy. All what they are looking for is population to be bringing money, to be bringing that. Call upon the name of the Lord. There's nothing wrong in bringing money to the house of the Lord. Even I, I ask you that you pay your tithes. But be careful. Because of people who want to snatch you away from the word of the truth. That they will not camouflage. They will not cover your eyes. That as you are growing in the Lord, they will not stop you grow. Call upon the name of the Lord. No woman being beyond temptation. That any time temptation come unto you, God will give you victory. Call upon the name of the Lord that you will continue to obey and follow the word of the Lord. The Bible says, this word, do not let it go out of your hand. Because through it, you shall succeed. Just be courageous. Fear not. Hold on to the word of the Lord. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will take every one of us to the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Let's say amen. You will not lose heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's say amen. I will not lose heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's say amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we thank you, Lord, for how you have taught us this tonight. That you let us know, yes, there's a place called call heaven, there's a place they call hell. Father, we pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will uphold every one of us just by your grace, by your mercy. We are here this evening by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Either we like it or not, you will take us to the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. We use like it or not that we surrender ourselves under your authority. Let your authority overcome anything that is devilish in our life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord and answer prayer. For those people who are here today, teach them the word of the Lord. Let every one of us stay in the word of the Lord. Let us yield to the word of the Lord. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will have reason to glorify the Lord in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say, Amen. 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 Let us be seated. Uh, I want to address some things. Uh, Sabi, come on, help me give everybody to two. Let us be seated. Please listen to me, five people. Give it out. I don't say keep it. I say give it out. Uh, I see that some of us, we are still battening with opening of the Bible. We want to open it like Obadiah, uh, Zechariah, we couldn't open it. Just for the beginner, because we are still learning. Anytime you see that, and it is on the, uh, on the screen, the, the, the chapter of the Bible. You can look at the back of your, of your, uh, in the, in the, I mean, in the front of your, 
of your Bible here, you, yeah, the content, you will see it here. I see that many of us, we are battling with it. So, just look here, you will see the page, and then it's not a day job because of where we are coming from. So, God will help us in Jesus' name. Thanksgiving, I want us to decide. Are we coming on tan Sunday the following Thanksgiving to come here to come and celebrate Thanksgiving? If we are coming, we may not do Sunday service in the morning. All of us, we may just come by 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. Then whatever we have, I will discuss with my wife too. She will cook for us, whatever she can do for us. And then whatever we have, we bring it from home. Even if it is bread, bring it. Know that we always have food already. But whatever you have, bring it. Even if it is candy, bring it. And then if it is sparkling water, you can buy, bring it. And then if you can cook uh, American food, cook, bring it. I will love Afghanistan food. Please, cook Afghanistan food, bring it. Don't go to work on that day. Uh, Sister Lisa, I know you like, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, this bread, they cook, they put, uh, 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 what's it, uh, roll or whatsoever. So cook, bring it. Sister Diane, I've never seen, know your best food, but I know you like it. Even if it's a kick or whatsoever you have, bring it. So we may not have Sunday service on that Sunday, but all of us will come together at 3 o'clock. I will come and pick you. Then we come together. That Sunday that follow Thanksgiving. When is Thanksgiving? Mm. I think it's eh? 24th. Uh, okay, 24. So Sunday will be, if Thanksgiving is 24, Friday will be 25. Then Saturday will be 26. Then on the 27, we will come here together, all of us. By 3 o'clock. Eh? That's good for him. He will come and meet us. So we will clap, we will sing, and we will eat. Uh, if he, she comes. If she comes. If you have money, go and buy chicken for us in Kroger. Bring it. I will eat. So, <laughs> the one they have cocoa. Uh -huh. Bring it. And then uh, I know uh, Mr. James, we know we have, uh, what is that? Grill. Uh, we have grill, very good grill. Eh? Yes, we can. We we have turkey. We can slice them. We put them on the grill, and everybody will be eating. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I'm from. <laughs> oh yeah, we have oven. Yeah, whatsoever. What we want to do in Thanksgiving is to dance, clap, eat. God will help us in Jesus' name. So on the 26th, so are we agreed that we meet on the 26th by 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock? Or I should give us time to think. Yeah. Then you bring it on Sunday. There won't be service on Sunday morning. We will just come by 3. I will come and pick everyone by 2. I will go and pick Mr. James. So, Mr. James, I will follow. I will be the bus conductor that will be calling people that come, come, come inside, come inside. So, Mr. James will drive us. I thank God, my own bus conductor will come with the bus. He will not leave me alone. <laughs> so, praise the Lord. So, we agree. So, on the twenty-seven, no service, but Thanksgiving. So, invite your friend. Let us come and eat with us. You hear? You listen to me and tell everybody. God will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, 
I think that's what I have. Let me see what I have. Mean. Hey, I've probably been telling you us that table is for us. It's not for me. Such deep. Sometimes I have a lot of things I put on top. You get what I'm saying? Look very well. Bags is here. If we can carry two bags, it's okay with me. If we will carry one bag, it's okay with me. Take whatever you need there. Please take it all. Go and enjoy yourself. I too am using it. That's why you see my stomach. Come here. Come here. I'm not like Sabi. He doesn't eat. He, he, he eats. He eats only organic. <laughs> so take whatever you want and please take it home. Uh, it helps me a lot. I keep it saves me money because instead of buying food, buying I have all this. So I eat very well. I enjoy myself. And so God will help us in Jesus' name. So let's bring our tithe and offering. Let's raise our titan offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we thank you, Lord. We glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, for whom you are and whom you continue to be. Father, out of what you have given to us, we bring this token. Let it be acceptable before you in Jesus' name. Lord, 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 we pray that you will help the church to use it for the glorification of your name in Jesus' name. For those people who have given Father a million fold, return unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. For those people who have, they do not know how to give, Father, teach them in Jesus' name. For those people who does not have, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in next test, in next meeting, it will be testimony for them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Only let us say amen. Is everybody you collected everybody? Oh, let us pray. After prayer, then you collect. Okay? Thank you. Let's share the grace together. Let us rise up to share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. I love you all. Take whatever you need. Bag is there. Take whatever you need, please. Look very well. Yeah, you give it to people outside. Um, Mr. James sent me to give everybody two two so that. Two, Jesus only is our message. Jesus all our theme shall be. We will lift up Jesus ever. Jesus only will we see. Jesus only is our savior. All our guilt he bore away. All our righteousness he gives us. All our strength from day to day. Jesus is our sanctifier, cleansing us from self and sin. And with all his spirit's fullness, filling all our hearts within. Jesus only is our healer. All our sicknesses he bear. And his risen life and fullness, all his members still may share. Jesus only is our power. He's the gift of Pentecost. Jesus, breathe thy power upon us. Fill us with the Holy Ghost. And for Jesus, we are waiting, listening for the trumpet sound. Then 
it will be us and Jesus living ever with our God. Jesus only. Jesus ever. Jesus all in all we sing. Savior, sanctifier, healer, baptizer, and coming king.
people in our midst. I cannot introduce all of you. I would have loved to do it, but I cannot introduce all of you. But here tonight in our midst, we have Bishop Innocent Solomon. Uh, I believe our cameraman, what you do is to focus uh, just 